In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Good morning, everybody. Very nice to be here with you to celebrate Mass again today. Um, I'm celebrating this Mass for Eddie Sherry. I'm very careful how I introduce Gray and the deacon who's been here with us, because Father Brian is very precise about his current status, because he says he's not a retired deacon, he's a deacon who is retired. So that's your status. So for those of you at home, good morning as well. Graham will be reading the Gospel for us, so you will see him in a few moments. Today's feast of our Lord Jesus Christ, eternal high priest, marks Jesus' role as mediator between God and humankind. Today's feast is celebrated on the Thursday after Pentecost. Approval for today's feast was granted by the Vatican in 1987, but it's only been celebrated in England and Wales, and obviously here on the Isle of Man as well, since 2018. Christ is set before us as a model for all of us, but especially the clergy, who share in Christ's role that we focus on today, interceding with the Father for humanity. So as we begin our celebration, we pause to call to mind our sins. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask, Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of good will. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you. We give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, Heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, Only Begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who for the glory of your majesty and the salvation of the human race made your only begotten Son the eternal High Priest, Grant that through the outpouring of the Holy Spirit, those whom he has chosen as ministers and stewards of his mysteries may be found faithful in carrying out the ministry they have received. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God for ever and ever. Amen. Amen. first reading is from Jeremiah. See, the days are coming. It is the Lord who speaks. When I will make a new covenant with the house of Israel and the house of Judah, but not a covenant like the one I made with their ancestors on the day I took them by the hand to bring them out of the land of Egypt. They broke that covenant of mine, so I had to show them who was master. It is the Lord who speaks. No, this is the covenant I will make with the house of Israel. When those days arrive, it is the Lord who speaks. Deep within them I will plant my law, writing it on their hearts. Then I will be their God, and they shall be my people. 
There will be no further need for neighbour to try to teach neighbour, or brother to say to brother, learn to know the Lord. No, they will all know me, the least no less than the greatest. It is the Lord who speaks, since I will forgive their iniquity and never call their sin to mind. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The response to the psalm is, You are a priest forever, a priest like Melchizedek of old. You, you are, are a priest forever, forever a, priest a priest like, like Melchizedek, Melchizedek of old. The Lord's revelation to my master, sit on my right, your foes I will put beneath your feet. You, you are, are a priest forever, a priest like Melchizedek of old. The Lord will yield from Zion, your scepter of power, rule in the midst of all your foes. You are, you are a priest forever, a priest like Melchizedek of old. A prince from the day of your birth, on the holy mountains, from the womb before the dawn I begot you. You are a priest forever, a priest like Melchizedek of old. The Lord has sworn an oath he will not change. You are a priest forever, a priest like Melchizedek of old. You are a priest forever, a priest like Melchizedek of old. Please stand for the gospel. Reading from my holy gospel according to Mark. Glory to you, O Lord. As they were eating, he took some bread, and when he had said the blessing, he broke it and gave it to them. Take it, he said, this is my body. Then he took a cup, and when he had returned, thanks them, he gave it to them. And all drank from it, and he said to them, This is my blood, the blood of the covenant, which is to be poured out for many. I tell you solemnly, I shall not drink any more wine until the day I drink the new wine in the kingdom of God. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Blessed to you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed to you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Lord, may our mediator, Jesus Christ, render these gifts acceptable to you, and may he present us as sacrifices pleasing to you in union with him, who lives and reigns for ever and ever. The Lord be with you. Amen. Lift up your hearts. Amen. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. Amen. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God. For by the anointing of the Holy Spirit, you made your only begotten Son, High Priest, of the new and eternal covenant. And by your wondrous design, you were pleased to decree that his one priesthood should continue in the church. For Christ not only adorns with a royal priesthood the people he has made his own, but with a brother's kindness, he also chooses men to become sharers in his sacred ministry through the laying on of hands. They are to renew in his name the sacrifice of human redemption, to set before your children the paschal banquet, to lead your holy people in charity, 
to nourish them with the word and strengthen them with the sacraments as they give up their lives for you and for the salvation of their brothers and sisters they strive to be conformed to the image of christ himself and offer you a constant witness of faith and love and so lord with all the angels and saints we too give you thanks as in exaltation we acclaim holy 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 lord god of hosts heaven and earth are full of your glory hosanna in the highest blessed is he who comes in the name of the lord hosanna in the highest you are indeed holy o lord the fount of all holiness Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope and Malcolm our Bishop, his assistant bishop and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honour is yours for ever and ever. Amen. Amen. The Saviour's command, and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. The kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, 
who lives and reigns for ever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Amen. Let us offer one another the sign of peace. Peace, peace with you. Me. Thank you. Peace with you. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. Let us pray. May this divine sacrifice we have offered and received fill us with life, O Lord, we pray, 
so that bound to you in lasting charity, we may bear fruit that lasts forever. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. I'm sure over the years you've got used to Father Brian being right, but of course he is right when he says that Graham is a deacon who is retired. Because as we said in the response to the psalm today, you are a priest forever, a priest like Melchizedek of old, which means that when someone is ordained, their soul undergoes an ontological change. So Graham is a deacon forever and I am a priest forever, please God, in heaven too. So it's good to have him here with us on this feast day today. I'm just glad that so far I haven't stolen any of his parts. We've just got the dismissal to go. <laughs> the Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Let us go in peace, <coughs> glorifying the Lord by our lives. Thanks be to God. Many thanks for joining me for Mass this morning, those of you here in church and those of you at home. Bye, God bless. <laughs>